Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. Friends, today we're going to cut a cool little copter with the laser, so let's get cracking. Friends, we're going to start on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to lasers, and friends, we have just added downloads. This is totally free, and you can download it and do the same project I'm doing. Of course, I am working in Lightburden. I'm going to do file import. I have already unzipped it. It is called Copter 9 SVG. When it comes in, I have got it set up for my cardboard. So I'm going to bring it to the middle of this. And then let's zoom in and check our settings. I want this whole thing to be set with what I call my number 10. It was set for 220 and 100% power. I'm going to instead change it to 350. I'm going to still do 100% power, but I'm going to do two passes. Alrighty friends, so let's fire up the laser. As you can see, I already had the Atom Stack A5 connected. It is on COM8. It is homing to the front. I'm going to use that move command with my favorite shift move to move it out so it's a little bit better camera angle for you. Move it over. Let's check the height. Real quickly, I'll slide that underneath, loosen. And we are good. Make sure it is tight. Let's hit frame. So you can see that's going to fit pretty decent in the uh, camera area. Did not like how it timed out on the back there. I'm going to come forward just a couple clicks. Let's try that one more time and see if we can do it without making any noise. Much better. Alrighty friends, of course I am grabbing the safety glasses. I'm also going to turn on my handy dandy indoor fan. Highly recommended when you're playing with cutting cardboard. And let's get making something awesome. All right, everybody, so as you can see, it cut out really, really well. I've got this cardboard really large, though, so I'm going to shut off the camera. Let's take the parts downstairs, and let's make us a copter. Buddy, so here we are with our parts sorted. As you can see, these cut out nice and crisp. We've got two of these in the center, and that's where the straw is going to go. When you put them on, make sure you've got clean sides out. So I've got clean sides facing out. Glue is going to touch all these spots. I always tell the kids less glue is better than more, it dries faster. Do also make sure you punch out all the little holes because that is harder to do after you've got it assembled. Speaking of holes, this one was still locked in. My handy dandy X-Acto knife to pop that out. And bingo, there are the first two sections put together. Alright friends, now it is time to put on our sides. These will go all the way to the back. These will go all the way back here, so make sure you get some glue in those corners. Double check to see your printed sides. This one will go under, this one will go over. And I'm going to put the glue on this one. I need to poke out those little pieces real quick too. Do make sure you put glue on these little parts. You can see that is giving us the frame for our helicopter. Alright friends, I'm starting to get the glue going ahead of time, 
so it's a little faster. Notice the seat faces forward and you do want glue all the way back. Once again, make sure you check so that your labels are on the outside. So there's that one. Now this one, the label is going to stick out, but it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it with another piece. And then bingo, this one goes right over here. And as you'll see in just a moment, our copter's frame is almost complete. Notice I do have one of these that's clean. It'll go on this side right here. Also notice that this part doesn't have glue, so I'm just gonna go around the outsides. I'm not gonna go up and down. So there's my glue there and also my glue here. It does not go anywhere else. Let's flip it over. Same thing, glue just on this outside ridge. Make sure your labels are in and bang. <laughs> the copter body is all put together. All right, everybody, so I have got a hot glue gun and I've got a straw. I'm gonna cut off a small section of this straw. These are six millimeter straws and then I'm gonna put glue inside this hole. So there is a little bit of hot glue. This is the only place where I use the hot glue is for the straws. We'll stick that in there just a little bit and let it set. Friends, I want you to add two of these to the straw so that way the blades of our helicopter are above the fins in the back. We'll actually add the fins in a moment. I just want to make sure that you remember that you want to have at least two of these so that your helicopter blades are above your tail rotor. I am going to add one of these little spacers on top as well. This way we never get glue on the straw. Notice you just add the glue on top. That'll lock that in place and then add your little cap. Easy peasy. Let's do a quick preliminary snip and now we can add our actual rotors. And then once again, we are gonna put the washer on the outside and add a tiny bit of hot glue outside that so that there is no glue between the rotor and the straw. And then making sure we add a little bit of glue on the end so that we can add the caps to lock them in place. And we've got helicopter blades that spin. How cool is that? Friends, there you have it, a tiny, fun, free cardboard copter. Cuts real easy on the laser, and it's a lot of fun for kids to have and assemble. Friends, of course, if you're looking for more info about the laser, you can check down below. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh,